Hey, what's going on, family? It is Sick Chick Vlogs. Um, I was gonna create this video on my second channel, but I felt like it would it would be better to create it here on this channel, where my um, you know, uh, my followers that have been following me for the longest are. I figured that you guys would probably want to um see this video too, just in case you're not interested in the thrifting vlogs and you not necessarily subscribe to that channel. I'm gonna make it on this channel. But this young lady on my Facebook page, I want to say her name is Sheree. Sheree, girl, you know I'm horrible with names, but I'll try to annotate your name here or something like that. I'm not really sure if your YouTube name, so I might just put your first name instead of your first and last name. You know what I'm saying, girl? I don't want to put your whole government up on her. Okay, I don't want to put your whole government up on here. But she asked me how and um, why I started working from home, and I felt like that was an excellent question because um, working from home really isn't for everyone okay it really isn't for everyone you have to have a um you have to have a a, a certain type of discipline to work from home because some people feel like yeah i can just roll out of the bed and you know i can work from home and i ain't got to get up and go to work and worry about driving in the rain i ain't got to worry about buying a whole bunch of clothes and combing my hair which is true but you have to have a certain amount of discipline discipline because you don't have anybody over your shoulder telling you you gotta you better get your ass up and work today you just don't have anybody telling you to do that now some jobs that work from home you have to be up at a certain at a certain amount of time at, a certain amount of time you have to be up at a certain time to log on to work and things like that but i have the luxury of creating my own schedule and things like that as long as i have my work done before the end of the day i'm fine and some days i don't even have to work if i don't want to but moving on as far as how i started work from home like i tell everybody and they probably think i'm being funny as far as how i started work from home i was pretty much in the right place at the right time i'm one of those types of people i don't necessarily believe in coincidence i believe in uh in kind of like fate you know like i said i believe if the lord wants you to be somewhere and he wants you to do something at a certain time you know it's gonna come to pass because like i said the way that this stuff came about it was kind of like you know finding a needle in a haystack um i was pretty much on skype chat one day and i was chatting with this um this this chick that i, I don't even know how i met this girl i think it was on twitter or something like that i was talking back and forth with this girl on twitter because remember i told you guys i used to be real heavy into twitter talking back and forth with her on twitter and she just started to mention to me that she worked from home and then she gave me this um uh, uh work at home job board where you can go on there you can talk to a whole bunch of other people who work from home and i'm gonna put the um the job board here just in case anybody is interested in working from home you can go on there they have daily job leads where you can find a job um and you can chat with a whole bunch of different people there like i said it's like a message board where you can talk to people who work from home and i pretty much um was interacting with people, conversating with people, kind of like here on YouTube where you networking and stuff. And somebody had posted a, a job and I applied for it and I ended up getting it. Like I said, just a random situation, a random person on Twitter that I've never met. She put me in contact with this um, job board. I signed up for the job board and you guys can go and sign up too. It's 100% free. I'm not getting anything by telling you guys about this job board. 100% legitimate, 100% free where you can sign, we can, you can sign up. You don't have to use any referrals or anything like that. Just use your email, sign up, and you can uh, search the jobs. You can chat on the job boards, people who work from home, all that type of stuff. Anyway, I digress. So that is how I started to work from home, basically. But ever since I was like 16, 17, I had, you know, those work at home job schemes where, you know, stuff a thousand envelopes and, you know, make $2,000 a week. I, I used to send them folks my damn money all the time. But of course, anytime you see shit like that, the shit is a scam. So do not. Let me repeat, do not let them people fool you into sending them no damn money talking about you can stuff a thousand envelopes a week and make three, four thousand dollars. That's a lie. Don't, don't, don't send the people your damn money. Okay. Anytime you have to pay somebody some money in order to work nine times out of nine, it's a scam unless they ask you to pay for your drug test or your background check. Now that is 100% legitimate. Most times, you know, it's legitimate when they actually pay for your background check. Cause sometimes you get people who, uh, got these damn, uh, you know, know they got a criminal record and you still got these folks paying nine and a hundred dollars for some damn uh, uh, background check when you know, when you know your ass uh, two days away from going to the penitentiary. And them folks ain't trying to lose their money like that so they make you pay for that shit. Anyway, moving on. As far as the why I started working from home and why I was so um, adamant about finding a work at home job. As you can see from the title, Living with Social Anxiety. Like I said, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't have any friends or anything like that. People don't realize because because okay, let me let me backtrack. 
Social anxiety is when, you know, I'm in a crowd of people and I'm, I'm acting real reserved. I'm quiet. I'm acting like I don't really want to socialize with the people. So people really think that, you know, you, you being bougie or you stuck up or you just, you know, you're just a mean person. Like I said, people think I'm mean when I'm really not. It's because I have a disorder and it is a disorder. You know, a lot of people think, look at it as being excessive shyness. No, social anxiety is a disease. It's a real disease that you could take medication for. I don't take medication for it, but, but, but I probably should have in the past. I'm getting a little bit better, like I said, even with doing the YouTube videos. A lot of people might also say, how can you have social anxiety and you are doing YouTube videos where hundreds and thousands of people are watching you? I'm by myself when I'm doing these videos. True enough, you're watching them, but at the end of the day, I'm by myself when I am making the videos. So why I started to work from home was because I started to get, um, I would get real panicky and like large crowds and shit like that. And I'm, I'm real shy. Like as, as a matter of fact, my dad had a family gathering. A lot of the people in my family I had never met and it was a large group of people outside. You know, he was barbecuing and all this type of stuff. And now this is family, even though I never met the people before their family, but I was the person who was up in the house, in the room, watching TV when all of my family members that I've never met were outside. Now, I did go out there once and I waited and I was like, hey, how y'all doing? You know, and I came back in the house because I just start to feel really uncomfortable. And I start to get really um, antsy and things when I'm in a large crowd. I'm one of them types of people where, you know, if I'm in a large crowd and... um just say some people start laughing in a large crowd. I'm 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 gonna automatically assume that they're laughing at me. Like, damn, do I have on? Is my damn uh, uh, my draw showing? Is you know, damn, are they laughing at the way I look? Am I too? You know, it, when you have social anxiety, you are extra extra paranoid when you are around a large group of people. You're overly shy. Any little thing somebody laughs at or somebody criticizes about somebody, you're going to automatically assume that the person is talking about you. Now, the situation I told you guys about in my daily blog video where I was telling y'all about the big girls laughing at Taco Bell. Now, them bitches was talking about me. Them hoes was talking to me. I don't know what the fuck they was talking about, but they was talking about me. But I'm talking about a completely different situation, like just saying in a store and somebody laughing, you automatically assume they're talking about you. That's how... I was slash am. I'm getting a little bit better at it now since I've been working from home, but um, it's it can be really, really bad, and it can cause you to not um, have friends, which is one of the things I don't have. I don't have friends. Like I, I start like when I'm in a large crowd, for example. Let me give you another example. When I'm in a large crowd of people, somebody talking to me, I start stuttering and shit. I don't stutter just regularly talking you guys can tell i don't stutter i sit there and i spit shit off like you know a million miles per minute but when i am in a large crowd of people or if i'm giving a, a, a report in class or something like that i start to stutter my fucking hands start to sweat and shit i just i cannot do it which is another reason why i even wanted to try to find me some um in college i wanted to try me some try to find me some online classes but the stuff that i wanted to take up in college i it, it wasn't really something that i can do online so i had to fight my way through it but that was hell you know um my roommate in college that was a whole nother story me and her um we were cool at first and then she started to have a whole lot of friends and she get gain a whole lot of friends she, you know it was freshman and i had some friends too but she started having a whole lot of people in the room and it just turned into a whole big old mess like i said which is one of the reasons why hell i have i also have ocd it's it's like a it's like a cycle of shit you know what i'm saying so as far as how i started working home it just so happened to be a coincidence the young lady um on my twitter page me and her started chatting back and forth on skype and she was talking about what she do from home and she shared the work at home job board with me and i signed up and i was chatting with people and i ended up landing my first job and ever since then that's why i tell you guys if you're interested in working from home I know that it's hard. Like I said, I had been applying for work at home jobs since I was 16 years old. Applying for them, applying for them, applying for them, not getting any opportunities or anything like that. But when I tell you, when you least expect it, that's when that work at home job that you probably weren't going to apply for will open up for you. So just keep applying. I know it's hard. I know, you know, you're going to get discouraged and stuff like that. But I promise you, keep applying. Because once I gained my first one, all the rest of them just start coming back to back to back. Because you start networking with people and you start uh, getting to know other people who know other people who know other people who may be project managers and stuff like that. And they can hook you up with different types of jobs. So just keep applying and like i said network with people so sign up for that work at home job board that i scrolled across the screen earlier and go on over there and uh check that out and apply for some jobs god damn it but um 
yeah, so that's how I started working from home. But as far as why, I had really, really bad social anxiety. And I, I just, I started to get really anxious around people. And I was working for an inventory company, like I said um, previously in some of my other videos. If you've been watching my videos, um, I worked for an inventory company. So I had to, um, I was like a, a team leader. So I was kind of... Uh, over a group of people so sometimes I would have to give uh, pre inventory speeches to like 20 and 30 people and that started you know I started spitting and shit when it came to that and I had to deal with store managers and it was just becoming a lot on me and I was starting to get um, depressed and all that type of stuff I mean it was it was bad um, so yeah that's why I have really really bad social anxiety and I felt like I wanted to start to work for myself and try and and kind of try to work on um, dealing with it, coping with it a little bit better. And YouTube has helped a whole lot. Even though I am by myself, just the fact of knowing that I have hundreds and thousands of people that are watching my videos, it really, really helps with the mental part of the social anxiety. So, um, yeah, that's how and why I started working from home. If that helps anyone. But that's like I said, you guys just getting to know me and shit like that. So um, I just like to come and share stuff with you guys. I don't I don't necessarily get too personal on my YouTube channel, but if I can tell you guys something that I feel like I help somebody, then I I, I come on and I tell you about it. I, I really don't see a reason not to. But like I said, I just just practicing and um practicing with. Uh, going in crowds and talking to different people. Like I said, I, I even did some shit at church one day. Y'all, when I tell y'all I got up and I said some shit at church one time, y'all, I was so damn scared, but it, it, it helped me. Just doing random shit like that and just going and speaking to a random ass person in a store. You know, just saying, hi, how you doing? Like I told you guys in my dumpster dive video, when I went over there to that lady and I was like, you know, what you doing? I just started a conversation with her. I would have never done that in the past. So I am getting better with my social anxiety. I don't know what about me working from home helped, but it did help me a lot. Um, just getting in my own zone and working on me and all that type of stuff. So yeah, that is how and why I started working from home. This video is 12 minutes. So it's supposed to be short, y'all. So, yeah, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Make sure if you're interested in work from home, you go over and check out that work at home job board. And until the next time, family, peace.